The purpose of this animation is to give a fly-around big picture overview of the components and systems of the Rotor CVT. Details regarding the components and systems are presented in the following animations. The animation currently is in the geared neutral position. In this position, the rotor followers are oscillating, but the rocker arms are stationary and therefore the vehicle does not move. As the ratio is actuated, the rotor is moved towards the viewer via a bevel gear drive and lead screw mechanism, affecting the rotor followers to run on a different actual section of the rotor, which initiate the oscillation of the rocker arms, which drives the vehicle. The further the rotor is moved towards the viewer, the more the amplitude of oscillation of the rocker arms increase, and the faster the vehicle moves. The rotor has now come nearest to the viewer, where the rotor follower bearings are at the edge of the rotor. Note that the two-speed gearbox is in the first ratio position, the most right position. In order to further increase the speed of the vehicle, the rotor will move backwards to about halfway of its range, while the two-speed gearbox will shift to its second ratio when the selector fork will move to the left. Note that the overall ratio between the engine and wheels before and after the shift took place remains the same. The rotor can now again move forward to reach the highest ratio at which the vehicle will travel the fastest. The ratio actuation, while positioning the rotor in an actual position, is also coupled to the torsion bar optimization mechanism. As the rotor is moved to the right, the torsion bar optimization mechanism, via a lead screw and cam mechanism, is moved to the left, with the effect of turning the torsion bar ends away from each other, therefore increasing the torsion bar torque on the rocker arms, which is needed in higher ratios, as the result of the large oscillation of the rocker arms. The purpose of the two torsion bars, which are coupled to the rocker arms and also coupled together via the torsion bar optimization mechanism, is to always keep the rocker arms, rotor followers and rotor in contact with each other. Each rocker arm drives an output gear via a one-way clutch, while the two output gears are meshed together. The bottom output gear serves as an input to the two-speed gearbox. 